Hello and welcome to the tutorial section of the Forest Ecosystem Monitoring Cooperative Portal. In this tutorial, we will be going over how to append or entirely replace data using versioning. This is especially useful for those that have data sets with data collected regularly. This feature is helpful for anyone that has a data set they would like to update without having to create an entirely new data set. This process only updates the data. Any updates to the dataset information can be made separately in the Basic Info or General Information tab once you open up the dataset. To proceed, open the dataset that you would like to add data to. For this to work, you will need to have versioning turned on when you initially created the dataset. If you are working on a dataset that has not been versioned, contact FEMC staff and we will turn versioning on for you. You will notice that any dataset that cannot be deleted has versioning turned on while data sets that have not been versioned can be deleted. For example, these two do not have versioning turned on, therefore they can be deleted, while these two data sets have versioning turned on and they cannot be deleted. We are going to open a data set that has been uploaded with versioning set to on. Click on Manage Data. Here you'll see a preview of your data. Currently, we have plot visit information from 1994 to 2015. Go to the Add New Data tab. We are going to add the 2016 data. Upload the CSV. Set versioning to on. It's important to note that if dataset versioning is turned on and you turn it off and submit the new data, you will not be able to turn it back on in the future. If you've done this by mistake, please contact us. You'll notice that you have two options. You can either commit as a new version or not commit. Not committing as a new version will overwrite the current version entirely, while committing as a new version will add the changes as a new version. This will allow you to backtrack to the previous versions before updates were made. Generally, you'll want to select this option if you're doing an update. Lastly, you'll be shown a preview of your data. Make sure that your headers match the headers of the previous data set. Remove any special characters from headers such as parentheses, asterisks, or dashes. Make sure that there are no additional text cells floating around the main table that could be misinterpreted and ensure that there are no differences between the data, for example, changing the date format or adding levels of precision to your data. To make changes, simply select these drop-down lists and select the correct option. Once you've confirmed that all the settings are correct, you have the option to append the data or replace it entirely. Since we only have the 2016 data, we will append the data this will tack the 2016 data to the end of the current data set and save it as a new version. The bigger the data set is, the longer it will take to upload. For data sets with tens of thousands of rows, you'll want to append data as it becomes available instead of replacing the data set entirely. The bigger the data set, the longer it will take to upload, which is why you have to be careful between choosing to append the data or replacing the data entirely. Situations where you only want to use the replace data option are when you made edits to historical data. For example, I will now add the 2017 data. Let's go through the process of adding a new version again, but this time we will replace the data at the end instead of appending it because we've made edits to the historical data. This will not get rid of the previous version, but instead just create a new version of the data set. After submitting the data, the historical versions can still be viewed and downloaded. Be sure to review your CSV files before versioning by replacing data to make sure that all the data you want is there and correct. Finally, let's see where you can find the different versions on the public end of the site. Here you'll see version 1, version 2, and version 3. 